What is up everyone? My name is Tony. Welcome back to my channel where I react to K-pop. If you're new here, welcome. Hope you enjoy my reaction. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. It definitely helps me out. You can also feel free to follow me on Instagram and or Twitter if you are interested. The links are down in the description. I always follow back. Yeah, other than that, we are back with some Ace. Um, oh, before I hop into this though, sincerely want to apologize for changing the weeks that I decided to take off um I like I like started to like think about how much I needed to like prepare before leaving for my like vacation and I was like I really don't know <laughs> if I'm gonna be able to sit here and edit everything that I need to and get them ready to be uploaded in time so I was like maybe it'd be best if I just skip this week and then go back at it the next week so apologize that I like changed my mind <laughs> um it was very last minute and I hate like not giving enough notice but um anyways back to some ace um since they have since they have their concert coming up and I kind of I kind of want to support them and buy a ticket and watch. So that means I need to get into some more music of theirs before I watch a concert and get spoiled by a bunch of songs. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get through everything, but I'm at least going to get through like the more important songs that need to get like that I need to like listen to. So... I'm just focusing on music today. Like, I'm just watching music videos or lyric videos. I will backtrack and I will do live performances and dance practices later. But I absolutely, like, will backtrack on these songs and do the live performances, um, do the dance practices, all that stuff. I promise I will absolutely get to it. Um... But I just, I just really want to like listen to the music and read the lyrics to get a better understanding before I watch the concert and get spoiled by music. Um, but yeah, I definitely know that like there might be a couple songs that, um, that I get spoiled by because I didn't have time to react to it, but that's okay. I can deal with like one or two songs, but if it's like five plus songs, I'll be like, no. <laughs> so... Today, we are going to get into Down, um, featuring Grey music video. So, a funny story about this song. I've heard, like, the very, very beginning of this song because my friend, who's also super into K-pop, we were, like, we were, like, in the car traveling somewhere and, you know, she, she, like, always asked me, like, what should I, like, keep out of my playlist and things like that, um... But I didn't tell her about Ace and I, because I didn't know she listened to Ace. And but what's funny is that this is literally the only song that she like really knows of theirs. And I've like I've been trying to like get her more into Ace. But um, the song popped up on our playlist and I immediately saw that it was Ace and I was like, no. <laughs> and I changed the song and I felt so bad that I did that. But I was like, I. I like I'm planning on reacting to the song so like I don't want to listen to it. <laughs> I felt so bad like I hate like just like skipping a song in someone else's car like I felt so bad but she understood she was like I get it she felt bad that like it was on her playlist but <laughs> that's okay so I've heard like the very very beginning but that's it <laughs> 
Um, after down, we're gonna get into Golden Goose lyrics and then Baby Tonight lyrics and then Do It Like Me lyrics. Um, and then the music video or live video of Star. I'm assuming that's how you say it, Star. I don't really know. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Um, and then if you heard MV which doesn't have lyrics, so I do have a lyric video to watch after that. So, um, a bit of a long reaction today. I think, I'm pretty sure after, if you heard, I want to say, like, the rest are, like, B-sides that I need to get to, um, like, My Lover, So Sick, Mr. Bass, Holiday, so I will eventually get to those. For sure. I just, I don't know if I have, like, I just don't know if I have, like, capacity to do, like, all of this, all of this one. Like, it's just a lot to handle in one video, but, um, I will definitely get to, like, the rest of these at some point or another, I promise. Okay, let's hop into Down Music Video featuring Grey. I never go to parties right. Cause I ain't trying to see anybody No, I never feel like I get lonely I just- Why is there always like so much wording in their music videos and I just like- <laughs> No, I never feel like I get lonely I can never like read all of it <laughs> Suddenly you just walked in And I don't know how we started talking By this time I'd already be sleeping But we're both sitting here breaking night Thought I was doing fine, doing fine Till you went across my mind, cross my mind I never felt this way inside Don't know why I can't seem to let you go <laughs> Duncan just came out of nowhere with like His like raspy like rock voice And I was like wait <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the type to catch feelings Something but you got me stuck and I'm sinking Let me your hanger come and save me Why is this me though? Like <laughs> Why is this me? <laughs> Sorry I'm anti-romantic <laughs> I'm guessing, I'm guessing this is when Seiyun was on hiatus whenever this music video came out. This room's closing in on me, my heart dropped. Girl, you're the stunner, how you smile, taking my breath away. Nobody here got a thing on you, I'm down, down. I ain't usually this fool, but something's pulling me towards you. No use in fighting the feeling. My plan is to get to know you for this party ends. I'm trying to be more than friends. Put in your number, I'll give you a call if you're down. Thought I was doing fine, doing fine. Sorry, this music video is like so fun to watch, but like it's like, I don't know. It just feels. <laughs> the music video is like so fun and like. What's the word I'm looking for? Like, um. I can't think of the word. It's so fun and like easygoing compared to like how like the sounds of the song. Like I think I think compared to like a lot of other Aces discography that I've listened to, the song is like very like simplistic and very like chill. I don't know if that makes sense, but like I feel like a lot of Aces discography is very there's a lot of 
sounds happening there's a lot of stuff going on especially when you get more into their like their rock edm like those types of songs and this song is very like i feel like it's very low-key compared to like the rest of their music but like i actually like really like it like it's kind of nice to just have like such like a simple beat in the song and like and like their vocals are literally like so clear you know what i mean i don't know if that makes sense but like i'm i'm here for it i'm vibing with it Fine. Cross my mind, cross my mind, but you know that I'd be lying, I'd be lying if I don't let you know. <laughs> I'm not the type to catch feelings. Something about you got me stuck and I'm sinking. Let me your hand go come and save me. Cause I'm falling down, down, all the way down now. Let's get up. I can't get <laughs> You, John. His booty, though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> cute. I think the music video is so cute. Feelings Something but you got me stuck and I'm sinking Let me your hanger come and save me <laughs> Cause I'm falling down down all the way down now. They're just so silly Sorry, I love dogs. <laughs> oh, it's just like the lyrics, right? <laughs> I just love how silly they are. It's just so fun to watch. Oh, I'm sad that... Oh, sorry, I feel like I'm too far away. I'm sad that Seiyun couldn't be in the music video, but honestly, like... I feel like there's not a song featuring Grey that I don't like. Um, I kind of like, I kind of like had the feeling that it was going to have more of like, um, like, like the trendy, like the trendy kind of songs that everyone, but like, I, I don't mean trendy as like bad. Okay. Like, I just mean that like, it's, it's a trend for a reason, right? Because it's catchy and everyone tends to like it and listen to it, you know what I mean? Like, um, so, like, I had a feeling that I was probably gonna like the song because A, it's Ace, and B, I, Grey, so <laughs> I knew it was probably gonna be a good song. But yeah, I don't know, like, I'm trying to think of, like, the vibe that the song gave me, um... But yeah, I like, I like the song a lot. Um, I like how, I don't know, I don't know if, like, my words make sense with what I'm saying with, like, like, simple. Like, it was just, like, to me, it sounded like a simple beat. I don't know. I don't know much about music, though. So, like, don't take what I say to heart, okay? <laughs> um, but I just, like, I don't know. I just feel like... I just feel like a lot of their music videos are either like very cinematic and 
a lot of thought and effort was put into their like acting their makeup their style like I feel like I feel like that's like all of their music videos but then there's like music videos like changer and this one like where like you can just I don't know like it's just fun to see like aces like fun silly personalities in the music video like I just find that really endearing and you know like I think it I think I think those are the music videos that like really shows their personalities a bit and how like how funny they are you know what I mean but I don't know I just find it fun to watch I think <laughs> I think the song itself is very <laughs> to me to me it's very relatable like <laughs> catch feelings why would I do that um but then kind of like you know that special someone comes around and like you do end up like you know really catching feelings for them so like I get it <laughs> I thought the song was cute though I d whoa stop pause um I definitely feel like that's going to be a song that I listen to a lot and I understand why my friend enjoys that song a lot but I like I definitely definitely want to get her like more into um more into like Ace's music because I think she would really like it but she like she just I feel like she just hasn't like actually like sat down and like listened to their discography but Okay, sorry. I know that I talk too much. If I talk too much, like, please just tell me because sometimes I go on rants and afterwards I'm like, I should shut up. <laughs> Two, Golden Goose, which this one seems to be like pretty, like Down and Golden Goose seem to be like pretty, pretty big songs that Choice has requested. So, and also Do It Like Me has been like requested a lot so I'm excited let's go like a freak <laughs> Okay, Sam.
I feel like this is a song that I would understand better if I knew the meaning behind Golden Goose. Because, like, whenever I think of Golden Goose, like, isn't that... I feel like it's like a fairy tale story, isn't it? Apparently it's a sneaker brand. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I, like... I, I, yeah, is it, like, is the song based on the fairy tale? Like, I'm, like, like, you guys know what I'm talking about? The Brothers Grimm fairy tale? I don't know. But, like, also, too, like, I feel like, I feel like fairy tales can be different in other countries so like I'm also wondering if there's like a disconnect there that I'm not realizing I don't know I think see I always I always found I always found the golden goose tale to be about greed and jealousy like jealousy like greed and jealousy of like what other other people have but I so maybe that's what the song's about, like, like having jealousy for like other people's successes and th I don't, I'm very, I feel like this is a song that I really need to think about, you know what I mean? Like, I need like, I need like some like references. <laughs> I, yeah, this one has me, like, I, I love, like, the hip-hop-ish beats that they were, that they had going on, and, like, honestly, because of how they were rapping and because how they were singing, like, it was actually, like, a little bit hard for me to, like, recognize who was doing what part, um, because, like, their, their styles were so different in this song compared to like other ace music so like it was a little bit hard for me to be like okay who's this um but yeah I definitely feel like I definitely feel like this this needs more like thought that I just don't have time to do <laughs> I like genuinely genuinely tell me like is this supposed to be connected to the golden goose fairy tale and is it supposed to be about um, jealousy and greed of like what others have? I, yeah. I don't know. I like the song though. <laughs> I can see why you guys like it. It's very, it's very different, I think. I feel like it's a song that you're that you're not really gonna hear in mainstream k-pop and me personally like i'm kind of here for that but <laughs> okay let's move on to baby tonight and pl like please like please 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 like tell me your thoughts opinions like interpretations of the songs because i genuinely love to read them and it also like gives me a different perspective of the song and I really enjoy like getting those different perspectives and thinking about the song differently so please I would very much enjoy um seeing what Choi's have to say okay baby tonight okay baby tonight let's go I don't know why it does that I know, like, quality doesn't really matter for, like, a lyric video, but...
일단은 내 마음을 사막에 rest on 누가 나를 움직여가는 듯 최면에 걸린 것 같은 기분이야 손을 끝에 잡힐 듯이 넌 생각보다 멀리 나를 끌어가는 것만 같아 올린듯 나는 너의 세계로 바로 내리다 Sensuality Friday 싫어도 좋아 난 네가 섞인 환상에 속아 내 모든 걸다 잃고도 떠들 수도 있으니까 I just, <laughs> I just want to know, like, if, I, if I'm taking things the wrong way, but that kind of sounded like, <laughs> sorry, I don't, mm. I really don't know if I'm, I don't know if my mind is in the gutter right now or if this song is actually about this, but I am under the impression that they were talking about their first, I don't know, first sexual encounter in general or first sexual encounter with this particular person, but <laughs> I'm sorry, just like certain things that were being said was just very... <laughs> I feel like there was a very sexual connotation to it, so, like, the ecstasy, sweat, <laughs> I hope I'm, like, not embarrassing myself. I hope I'm not embarrassing myself and, like, making it clear how much my mind is in the gutter right now, but that's, that's my <laughs> first initial impression of the song so <laughs> but I liked um I don't know I'm trying to think of like what kind of vibes the song gave me kind of like maybe like a little bit on the R&B side a little bit I think maybe I hope I'm not making it clear, like, how dirty-minded I am. I really... No, maybe I am. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you guys think and if I'm, like, interpreting the song incorrectly. <laughs> but that's just my, like, that's just my... I don't know. That's the only thing I could, like, think about as I was listening to the song. Just give him, like, some of the lyrics. Okay. Do it like me. I've heard this is a really good song, so I am, like, hyped up for it. Okay. Let's go. Like a 
I'm like sorry I like don't know if I just like heard that wrong the lyrics say you can taste my time but it sounds like it sounds like Seiyun is saying you can take my time. To me, it sounds like he's saying you can take my time. Am I wrong? <laughs> I like the beat a lot. I can see why I can see why Choice likes the song. sounds like Junhee is saying you can taste my time. What does that mean? You can taste my time. I like the beat a lot. Okay, definitely, definitely liked, definitely liked that moment with Dong Hoon and Jun Hee. I also forgot to mention, was it in Golden Goose? The mo the part with Wow and Byung Kwan. I like that part too. I forgot to mention that. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I kind of, I I kind of love their like. Their parts in the songs were like they kind of like duet like like two of the members are just like because I, I think they sound so well together like especially especially <sighs> Wow and Beyond Quan I think have like I don't know I just they sound like just listening to them sing together is like nice <laughs> sorry I don't know how else to describe it um do like me I definitely. Mm, I definitely think the song was like right on my alley. Like, I just I think I think the beats hit like all the right places. I don't know if that makes sense, but 
I also think like it's yet again like another song that's a bit about possessiveness and um like I always have my eye on you like controlling kind of thing you know what I mean um but also what's the word I'm I cannot think of words today oh oh my gosh what what am I thinking of but also like kind of like a song about like I bet you wish you were like like you know what I mean like very like overconfident um kind of feeling which like honestly I kind of love songs like that <laughs> Because, like, I don't know. I think I think confidence is super, super important. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. But I definitely get the feeling, like... I definitely get the feeling that the song is a lot about, like, overconfidence in oneself. But also there's that controlling, like, possessive aspect to the song, too. Um... Again, we'd love to hear what Choice have to say about the song. I definitely think this was, like... I definitely think Do It Like Me is going to be up there with, like... With, like, my favorite songs. For sure. For sure. I, like, honestly... I've actually been listening to Ace, like, a lot lately. Like, a lot. Because <laughs> I think... I think a lot of their discography is just, like, so good. Like... A lot of their music is so catchy and if you love like if you love like rock EDM like even their ballads are so good like I just I think a lot of their discography is just so fascinating and to me I feel like they to me I feel like they're a lot like GOT7 because like the more that I get into Got Seven's music, the more I'm like, man, I feel like they took a lot of risks with um the style and genre of music that they were coming out with. And I think Ace is very similar. Like I think a lot of the genres and beats that they use is not typical of K-pop, um, really. But I think I think it's fun to hear something different. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. That's just the vibe that I get. But yeah, it's just, I think their music is really fascinating and I like genuinely love listening to it. So that's just me. Okay. Let's move on to Star, the live video. Um, I, yeah, let's get it. I think it's Star. I don't, I honestly don't know. I'm not going to get emotional. I'm not doing <laughs> not doing it today. I'm 
생각에 거리 물고 괜히 어지다는 말에 넌또 베이고 누구를 위한 건데 내 자신에게 먹게 돼난 먹게 돼 생각해 정신 차리고 어지다는 말에 흔들리지 말고 누구를 위한 건데 내 자신에게 다짐 매 그게 다짐 매 I'm not gonna get emotional. I refuse. That was a very, it was a very precious song that I feel like is probably for choice. I get the feeling, but mm, I feel like I feel like the song had like a bit of like hard truths in it. You know what I mean, like. Hold on, like I'm trying to think of like what parts, like oh, burdens your heart, and trying to put them down. It's not like you are completely like. I just feel like there's like a lot of hard truths in the song. That's like you know like. I know that you're not always fine. Like, I know that. Because, like, let's face it. Like, even if we have shit going on in our lives and even if, like, even if, like, we're going through, like, a spiral of, like, depression or whatever mental health issues, like, I still tend to just, like, be like, oh, it's fine. It's all good. I, I know I do that. Like, like, I definitely... I don't know. I definitely have a tendency to not make it not make it as big as it like actually is. So like, I don't know if that makes sense, but like if I'm like really going through something, um I like I'm at least I'm pretty good at like putting up this facade that like it's not as bad as it actually is you know what I mean like 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 people know because it's hard for me to hide stuff so like people know that like I'm going through something or that like something's wrong but like I don't show it enough that 
people fully understand like just how difficult it is or just how bad it is you know what I mean like because I like I don't want to like bother people with my own problems you know what I mean and like that's not necessarily a good thing like (laughs) there's people who like genuinely want to help you and like you're just like everything's fantastic (laughs) like which isn't good (laughs) but um I feel like, yeah, I feel like this song is, like, very much, like, you don't have to put up that facade. You don't have to, like, you don't have to pretend that everything's fine because we already, we already know how bad it is and, like, and, like, we want to be there for you and to help you and, like, hopefully I'm not too late to do that. You know what I mean? But, like, yeah, I don't know. Just, like, I, so, like, you guys know I have... Seiyun's bubble he's the only he's the only member that I have of their bubble right now um but he like he like um, he doesn't message every day but like he does have the tendency to like go on to bubble every now and then and be like how are you today have you eaten like like you worked really well or you worked hard or stuff like that like he tends to say that stuff a lot and like I think I think he like fully understands that like we all go through our own shit and like he he like wants to take the time to get on bubble and like tell choice like you worked hard today like you know to like make make choice feel better and I think that's so sweet and precious and like I'm sure he also has like his own things going on and like but like I I don't know this for a fact but like I get the feeling I get the feeling that choice seemed very comfortable just like from how Seiyun responds in Bubble, like, I get the feeling that Choice is, like, very comfortable with, like, sending messages about, like, what's going on in their lives or, like, how they're feeling and stuff, and I, I, like, wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if the members, like, read all of your messages, like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me because that's just how, like, that's just, like, how genuine they seem and how how sincere their connection with choice is if that makes sense like it just it just would not surprise me if they like even it just wouldn't surprise me if they really took the time to like to like go through the messages that they receive on bubble or twitter or like whatever you know whatever it may be and like and like read everything that choice says like it it just it really wouldn't surprise me um and i think it's like i i think this is like <laughs> one of the biggest reasons i said i wasn't going to get emotional stop i think this is one of the biggest reasons why it became like an old group for me so quickly like I feel like you can't, you can't fake that connection that these idols have with their fans, you know what I mean? Like, you can fully see, like, how genuine and sincere they are towards their fans, and it's, like, I I just find it very, like, endearing and sweet that they take the time and effort to make connection, to make that connection with their fans. Um, but yeah, oh, I feel like... I don't listen to ballads that much, but this was a very precious song, I feel like. And I feel like it was specifically meant for choice. But again, like, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Um, I got a little teary-eyed, but I'm okay. Calm. I'm okay. (laughs) Okay, let's move on to If You Heard, which doesn't have lyrics, so I'm just gonna, like see what happens in the music video, I don't know. (laughs) To answer one question, what's the question? Aww, (laughs) what do you want to say to me? Aww. The eyebrow piercing. I gotta uh, think really hard. Honestly, I wouldn't know what to say either. Like, I hate being put on the spot and stuff like that. So, 
I'd be like, uh. Did they just put it into a song called If You Heard? <laughs> I called it. <laughs> See what I mean? Like, they're just so silly. I love them. Same. <laughs> what is that? I need to watch this. I know you guys have mentioned it before. I need to watch it. Look how cute! Aww. Look at pretty choice. <laughs> <laughs> The music video is so fun. Uh. 
Okay, I like really, really want to get into the lyrics. Now that I know, now that I know that it was, stop, stop, I'm good. Now that I know that it was a song like with Ace's, like each member's like words to choice, like now I really, really, really want to get into the lyrics. Um, I thought the music video was so adorable. I like how, I like how it was just like their journey, you know what I mean? Like, their journey is Ace and like, like all of the different concerts that they've had and things like that. Like I'm I'm genuinely I'm genuinely hoping that like once Yu Chan comes back, they'll have like a full comeback and hopefully an international tour. Like that's what I'm hoping for because I'm absolutely one hundred percent going to see them. <laughs> well, I want to anyway, but okay. Let's get into lyrics. Oh, that's the one I wanted. Sorry, I didn't read the full lyrics. I feel like this song is hitting different now that like knowing that they were literally in military for two years and Yu Chan is still in military and like I feel like the song is just like gonna hit me different. <laughs> Sorry, I like, I feel like the lyrics are so important, so I want to make sure I don't miss anything. <laughs> that has really deep meaning, okay? That is all. <laughs> I think I think that just like like I don't know the sun oh my gosh okay sorry anyway um I feel like that like I feel like that speaks to so much right like I don't know that line by Byung Kwan like I think that just perfectly like encapsulate like you can have like all the material things that you want and you can have like such a perfect like everything put in place life but like if you don't have the right people on the journey with you then like 
what's the point? Like, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like, I feel like connections with other people to me is more important than any kind of like material thing in my life. Like, like I would rather, I don't know. Like, I, like I, I kind of agree with that lyric. Like I would rather take like the road less traveled with people who, who I have a deep connection with and that I know that we're always going to be there for each other than I would like, uh, than I would like a path that is like set out perfectly for me and like everything's absolutely like amazing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just, I personally, I personally agree with that lyric and I think it speaks a lot to like how Ace feels about choice and the and the connection that they have like they would literally rather they would literally rather take this like difficult path with choice than to like have like I don't know like that perfect setup if that makes sense I don't know that's just how I take it and I think that like speaks a lot but I don't know Why did I end on, like, the two most, like, <laughs> important songs for choice, I feel like? <laughs> oh, man, that one was, I, I yeah, mm. I just, like, I don't know, like, it makes me, like, it makes me, like, want to, like, just continue to support, support them so, so much because they're, like, they're, like, telling, they're, like, s like, saying it so clearly, like, I appreciate, like, I appreciate the understanding of when we're busy and can't contact choice or, like, I appreciate whenever you, like, tell us that we worked hard or, you know, things like that, like, I don't know, like, I just, <sighs> and at the same time, they're like, please don't leave us, like, I hope that, like, I hope that you'll continue to be a choice, like, forever, like, you know what I mean? I don't know, the song was just so precious. <laughs> oh. If I think too much on it, I'm going to get emotional, so I'm just going to, like, <laughs> end it here. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this reaction. Um, I definitely, definitely, definitely think down and do it like me are, like, like, like my kind of vibe songs, and I'll probably be listening to them a lot, but, like, literally every single song, literally every single song was really good I thought I thought Golden Goose in particular was like really interesting um and I'll probably like be thinking about it more after this reaction to be honest with you um but yeah please 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 tell me your thoughts opinions interpretations of the song I songs I love reading them um I don't know I I'm I don't know like when the comeback is happening so like I was hoping that it 
it would happen before next Friday so that I could do my reaction for it. But um, yeah, if not, I guess I'll get I'll get to it whenever it's released. I, I'm I'm going to try my best to like literally sit down and record my reaction to the comeback like as soon as I can. Um, but I will say like this weekend Halloween's like a bit busy and the next weekend is actually my birthday so I don't know how available I'm going to be next weekend because I'm going home to like be with my family so I'm gonna try my best it really just depends on like what day they release their music and I I don't know if I'm just like because I haven't been on I actually haven't been like on my tail that much recently so like if there's something that I'm missing like they did they announce a date or anything or like am I missing something but I will for sure for sure um get a ticket so I can watch the online concert um because I like I just really want to support them as much as I can so yeah all right guys that's it for me <laughs> I hope you guys stay safe stay healthy be yourselves and have a good day bye guys bye.